BYD is a crypto exchange on desktop and mobile where you can spot trade, futures trade, use leverage tokens and copy the trades of top trade. There's hundreds of crypto available on their spot exchange as well as a free test account so you can practice futures trading without getting wrecked. BYD Fi. Hello everybody, welcome back. Good morning. Let's start with a bit of Dixie on the Monday because it's the beginning of the trading week. Lots of opportunity, but it doesn't look particularly happy, I have to say, for everything. So I made a video yesterday about... Uh, yesterday about potential altcoin rallies which would have been if um ethereum had broken and closed above this area well has it done it no it's not done it but that doesn't mean that it can't do it so again the videos i make hopefully are explained that there's validation and invalidation for each setup at the moment this is not a valid setup for an alt season so does look like further downside is is most likely however on ethereum and again we're just thinking about ethereum ethereum is sitting on a 20 moving average the daily so actually you know despite being rejected from that uh, 200 simple moving average on the four hourly <coughs> which is actually you know where bitcoin has come from as well by the way this is why i wanted to make that video because ethereum has done this now Oh. Uh, and so if it's going to follow Bitcoin, it's likely to be doing this now. Oh, slightly different charts, but same kind of response. And um, but if we're going to hold here, then actually, the, you know, we're sixty-five percent more likely to uh, to actually find a bounce here. The problem being uh, is that the twenty moving average, the daily twenty, is actually pointing down. So. Yeah, if we stay above it, it goes horizontal and turns up. But until then, it's pointing down. So it's, it's much, it, it kind of takes away some of those percentages. <laughs> it's, it's less likely to remain above this area while we're descending this way. Because each time it, um, it, uh, it closes a new daily, at least for a few more days, two or three more days, uh, it's likely to be down and then, and, then it's only, and then go horizontal. And we're vulnerable vulnerable to the markets and i'm going to show you some markets in a minute so we'll get back to the dixie so the dixie is in this descending triangle formation consolidating it's not a big deal it's just a consolidation we're looking at it on the four hourly here generally speaking it's good we had a golden cross here and a second golden cross here retest retest v-shaped recovery then some now we're consolidating nicely there's no short signal there's no pump signal it's just consolidating and the floor on this is roughly around 105.3 if you zoom out you can see 105.3 being quite relevant here here a uh, bit of support breakdown and um, so it's still relevant here so 105.3 pump city fm really on the dixie it does look quite good um and i would expect this to at least make its way back up to the top of the range which is obviously a baby move and then a breakout to be honest with you probably sooner rather than later with the top target so well the, the next major target um uh, around 107.8 so dixie does look good i have to say um s p uh, s p futures so again this is far from the open really we're sitting there at just around nine o'clock in the morning we are looking at a, a death cross retest that we've broken through and uh, we might be looking at a death cross retest over here which again is a, this is exactly what bitcoin did and got rejected from this is what ethereum has been rejected from overnight from this area so should we expect the same i don't know lots of bearish divergence on this overheated money flow index read as well so it seems to me that we would likely get rejection from this area and so i would uh, i would imagine that stacking some shorts up at this area um 5150 is probably an okay idea tight stop losses obviously <clears throat> we don't want to get stuck in the wrong side of a, of a short position that's the worst but uh, but yeah it seems reasonable if we did move up into that area layering in some shorts it's probably the best thing and again we're talking s p this isn't huge moves it's not massive if we do get to short it my my major top targets are only going to be down here 4760 and also it's uh it's moving up with that 200 simple moving average and the exponential as well so it's only a six percent move the uh, <clears throat> the daily bollinger band coming in here as well offering a major res uh, resistance as well so it, it is one of downside i think really generally speaking this week but remember this is only nine o'clock in the morning validation invalidation just because i'm saying this at nine in the morning doesn't mean that by 12 by half two especially when american markets open that this doesn't change and then we'll see what the daily close is like we'll see if it, this current trajectory is invalidated because it may be but this is what it looks like right now 
you know, I'm not live streaming 24 hours a day, because uh, if I were to be doing that, you would probably see some changes in opinion, as the market is a constantly evolving beast. Right, let's move on to Bitcoin then, shall we? And I'll leave it there because, again, we've established that the Dixie looks like it's going to start bouncing soon. It looks like the, the S&P is going to start dropping soon. Ethereum has already dropped. So what's Bitcoin doing? So Bitcoin moved down to this area, this uh, this horizontal, more or less. It was a slight front run, but more or less this area. It can come down to retest it again later if it wants to. It's not a big deal. It's not a problem. Uh, but personally, the, 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 the trajectory on this, the direction, the trend, if you want to use basic words, which is all you really need, is still down. And so I actually look at this as uh, is, it's going to continue to consolidate. And the, the way that it's going right now, over the summer, which again has been the main plan, this has been the main strategy since December, uh, is to allow for this consolidation to take place, allow for prices to come down further and further and further, and then buy the hell out of those uh, for what would be long-term positions. Short-term hodls, if you want to call it like that. 12 to 18 month hodls. Um, uh, so you can call that a trade in many people's eyes that is effectively a trade uh, but in crypto terms holding on to one particular crypto for you know anything over a few well a few weeks really is sometimes dangerous unless you're relatively confident you've caught some significant lows and so that's what I'm looking to do we made a lot of money didn't we at the back end of last year we've made a fair bit of money this year too now it's a now now it's time to keep that money you know ready uh, that is your ammunition for some serious lows uh, and I'm looking for really, I am looking for around fifty thousand, give or take fifty thousand initially. And if we lose fifty thousand, you 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 would probably make the case that you could come down a lot more um, for for Bitcoin. Four thousand, uh, sorry, forty five thousand, maybe even down to the uh, the low thirties. But until we start to see any kind of major um, gathering of momentum, we'll stick to our small increments. Uh, we've got a pit stop around 56,000, which is your 21 and your 20 uh, moving average on the weekly. But really, uh, a bounce from there was is probably going to be a decent one. We could probably call it a very decent one, maybe even launching back up to around 65,000 just for another rejection. Again, we're talking over the summer, so we're talking several months of price action uh, from where we are right now. Down to here, maybe up to here, maybe down a little further into the into the upper the lower 50s maybe upper 40s and see where we go from there momentum we are about to start to close negative we didn't have any bearish divergence on the on the rsi but we did on the money flow index and as you all know normally two drives is all you need on a weekly to establish a serious low and a serious high as well so i mean just to put it out there just so you can see it you know the long term time frames like a weekly are always the best to look at because you, you might not think that they're interesting, but they offer the biggest moves. And we've been pretty cautious about this since being over here in December when we had a very overheated read. So this is when we had uh, started scaling out of the altcoins because we got in at the altcoins around October. We made a few hundred percent. We started scaling out when the money flow index started to peak. We were making small buy the dip, sell the rip type of trades you know, up to these levels. And up until recently, uh, I suppose about a month ago, I was... I've, I've managed to move myself into an 80% cash position. It's more than that now. Um, and uh, I, I, I would like to think that I've got the patience to uh, to wait out for these big moves. But, <clears throat> you know, Money Flow Index often shows you low, higher low marks the absolute low. Low, higher low marks the absolute low. High, lower high marks the absolute high. Low, lower low. Oh, sorry, higher low marks the absolute low. High, lower high marks the absolute high. So look, this is just all part of the game, really. And now that we feel as though that this has been established, uh, we'll have to wait and see how low it can go. And uh, and with that, we should be excited. You know, If you're anything like me or my Patreon members who have reiterated time and time again, to keep a cash position, a, a large one, a strong one, uh, and uh, and wait for much lower prices, uh, this all goes hand in hand with the way that that looks. And again, looking at the s and I'm not going to bother with the Dow and the Nasdaq because they're all doing the same. You're looking at Dixie, for instance, 
They all sort of point to one particular outcome, which is over the summer, consolidation kick in when the summer finishes, scrape those lows out, does start dollar cost averaging into areas that you feel are appropriate, and get ready for the last stage of the mega rally, which should leave all this behind. You know, we'll, you know, I'm not going to start making you know, ridiculous you know, price predictions. I know that that's what gets views you know yeah. people are not accountable are they for those sort of things hey did you know i believe uh, that uh, that ethereum is going to reach twenty thousand dollars thumbnail uh well when's it going to do that oh end of the cycle 18 months feel free to come back to this particular video and call me out on it when it's wrong if you can be bothered with that so it's it's, it's a great way to get clicks maybe i should start doing it but it's impossible to say I mean, we, we all have our particular educated guesses as to where certain things are going to go. I think it's only really relevant for Bitcoin and you can make a rough guess. But I'm not going to go down that route. But yeah, long story short, consolidation on the higher term time frame seems most likely. A mega bounce around 56,000, uh, back up to the mid-60s as well. So it's a $10,000 bounce, I think is quite likely. Yeah, but until we get to that area, it's probably just best to sit back, watch and wait. And maybe try a few little short trades on traditional markets. I'd leave uh, short in crypto alone. It's too volatile to short. And... Um, and yeah, that would be that. There's nothing much more to say about this on the Monday morning at six minutes past nine. That's what it looks like to me. That's what it looks like to me. Right. Hopefully you have a nice day. Feel free to join the Patreon. Links in the description below. Otherwise, I hope you have a nice day. Take it easy.